Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame thrifting and a good DIY project. Today I'm doing three Christmas crafts. These are kind of like minimalist, kind of Nordic, Scandinavian inspired, very simple. They're also affordable and easy to do. So isn't that the best kind of DIY? <laughs> Before we jump into anything, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. Okay, let's not waste any more time and let's jump right on into things. The first thing we're going to make is this wood bead garland for the tree or you can also just hang it up on your mantle. Although the one I make is very big, so it's for the tree, but you guys would not have to make yours this big if you're making it for the mantle. I picked up two bags of wooden beads off of Amazon. They were 16 millimeter, I believe, and they came with 200 wooden beads in each one, but I will link the exact one below because I could be remembering wrong. So I picked up two of those and then I used one container of assorted wood beads that I got from Michael's. That is what I used and I didn't actually use them all. So there was leftover, but again, I will link those Amazon ones below for you. All you need for this project is the wood beads, some scissors. I used some jute twine that I got from the dollar store a while back. And then I like to use tape to tape off my ends so that I can easily string my beads and my twine doesn't fray while I am endlessly <laughs> stringing beads. So it's really that simple. Get yourself some twine and get to stringing these beads. Once you're happy with the length, I then went with the last bead. I looped it down and then tied a knot. Since the wood beads have a bigger hole, it's always so annoying to try and create a really big knot at the end. So this kind of eliminated that issue. For my next project, I was very inspired by this Pinterest post that I found and it linked to a blog. I will link that blog down below because I'm not remembering the name of it right now. That is where I got this idea, so be sure to check that out. They also give instructions if you're wanting to just follow that. I wanted to make these super cute clay ornaments. I picked up some clay from the dollar store because I'm cheap like that. Although I'm sure using better quality clay would have made this project so much easier. I ended up having to use a bunch of flour because it was so, so sticky. But basically you're going to create some shapes. This is such a mom thing of me, but I was using my son's Play-Doh tools to do this because why not? They totally worked. So I made a bunch of circles and little like little rectangles. Then I let it dry overnight. The clay was supposed to turn white when it was dry, but it did not fully turn white. So I went ahead and gave everything a coat of white paint. You could use any color you want. If you guys are like classic red, green, you know, whatever you want. I also put a little hole into each of the clay shapes and I wish I had made the holes bigger. I really messed up when I did this. It would have been so much easier if the holes were bigger. So if you guys do this, just make the holes bigger and save yourself some issues. And the other mistake I made is that I used wire to create these ornaments, only the wire was very stiff and I should have found really like flexible wire because the problem I ran into is that I kept breaking my clay pieces and that was obviously frustrating. So don't be like me, make bigger holes for your ornaments and then also find really flexible wire or good string, but I couldn't use string to get through the holes. <laughs> Anyways, it was an ordeal, but I managed to make three really cute little ornaments. I could have probably made more if I hadn't broken so many, but you know what? You live and you learn and I wasn't gonna do it all over again. So learn from my mistakes, but here is how my ornaments turned out. I'm 
lastly, I was in HomeSense and I saw this pine cone hanging and I was like, whoa, they're selling this thing for like $25. I think I could just make something even cuter than that. So I went to our woodsy walking area, picked up some pine cones, although they sell pine cones at the dollar store if you guys don't have pine cones around you. I don't know, maybe some people don't. Then I wanted to just paint half of the pine cones. You could also spray paint them, but I chose to just kind of like paint half of them and I took some twine and my hot glue gun basically on the bottom of each pine cone I hot glued my twine right into the center and strung them all at different lengths and kind of tied a knot at the top and I like the idea of this hanging on a door or just on a wall you could also hang it from the middle of a wreath if you made it a little smaller or if your wreath is really, really big and that would be cute. Once I had done that, I wanted to add something to it and I had these stars from the clay I had made, but <laughs> again, the holes were too small and I couldn't get the string through. I just hot glued them onto my string and I just think it adds like this little magical touch to this little simple pine cone hanging. I think another thing that would be really cute to add are bells if you don't want to do the stars. This is how my little pine cone star hanging turned out. I didn't film this process, but I wanted to show you guys one more little craft I made and it's very self-explanatory. I had two leftover stars that of course somehow I managed to get my string through these. It's fine guys. I used my little leftover stars and some leftover wood beads and twine and I made these little ornaments or they would be so cute on like the top of a present, almost like you're giving somebody an ornament and little like wrapping decorations. I love how these turned out and obviously it's like I tied them and added beads so I think you guys know how to do that. I am so happy with how my Christmas crafts turned out. I hope they inspire you guys to make something similar. If you like today's video feel free to give it a thumbs up. A thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe. For more of my everyday life, you can follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.